Good morning. Okay. Very exciting day. So we're going to talk today about something that we sort of built towards the rest of the week. We're going to talk about plasticity and changes and experience changing the brain. Brain plasticity is what is neuroplasticity? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> okay, so it's the ability to change because something happened and it's both strengthening and weakening of connections and circuits. Mm. Yeah. So can you guys think of times, examples, when the brain needs to change? Things that you think would require or would bring with it a change in brain circuits? Uh, maybe through uh, while debating. Debating. So, what do you call that? Level of Ramayana, you want to come in, sir. Seventy kilometers. La. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then, she now says, when somebody is uh, under strong fear, uh, worry, and then also when you let the mind just wander. When you let the mind just wander, and that might change it. Yeah. Other examples. Jet lag. Jet lag. Yeah, jet lag and sleep jet lag and also change of change day and night cycle. Oh, really? Oh, so jet lag. Mm -hmm. La. Oh, during developmental process. Right, absolutely right. During developmental process, the, the brain definitely changes, and we'll look at that. Yeah. La. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. During neuron damage, neuron death. Yep. Once the tissue in the ship got too large, but I mean, I'm going to bed for I mean, payment shower, da, doing shower, da, like that. Definitely, during um, if there is an injury, mm -hmm. or we recover from injury. For instance, when there is a stroke, mm -hmm. so the blood supply doesn't get to some area of the brain. That area of the brain. Their neurons are going to die in that area because they didn't get the blood supply <laughs> for a few minutes or a few hours, and then there needs to be some rearrangement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Tak awal jauh kuasa ki, ni wajah terjun tu, antara manusia sahaja, ni kau tu sihir. Sihir tu di kencing, kencing sihir tu, sihir tu juga, ni lebih sembel, di lekat di, ni kasur le, kasur le, di lekat di, ni kasur le, sab sab sih aku sihir. Another example is uh, external injury. If somebody hit their head, let's say they ride on a motorcycle and they get hit in the head. So mm -hmm. if I can put in a point whenever you're on a motorcycle, put a helmet on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Really, those are injuries that are very, very difficult to um, to come back from and sometimes years or lifetime of damage to the brain and I see a lot of people around driving with no helmets. Mm. Yeah, that, that's one of the things that I study in my lab. And I don't know, have you guys heard of American football? Oh, American football is how you are. American football American football Big guys, yeah. And they wear helmets and they get a lot of hits to their heads mm -hmm. and there is a disease that comes with that that looks like very early aging and alzheimer when they're young alzheimer like alzheimer then kozu temu te ringa te chashe kungu do wa chashe kun ndi do le sob sob de ni jang che ba temu kona mo kona dong le tai bi sos do wa te de dong 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 ne ni temu te di shen shen ba shen lo lo na jin na ma tu de te ngatu de ne kozu la te de shi je bi ni ge Ini nasi dari ibu ada nasi di El Zaman nasi, jengeng nasi tua, oh jengeng nasi di tanah bau jengeng nasi di pagi hari. Okay, so so injury. Then we talked about injury. Then somebody said development. Development is absolutely right when we think of the brain development, even not during the month when in utero, but after birth and when the child is growing. There's a lot of skills that they're applying, that they're acquiring, and during that time, the brain changes accordingly. Tadi ni kasut le lebih nyesi ki, lebih nyesi dan lebih besun karier tu, besun mungkin orang orang cik maju je. Mengenai ini macam, tetapi cik terbebas pun susah. Sabet di ini apa tu res? Sabet lu terbebas siapa dah nyamdo lepas sabet cik yang res. Di terbebas ni dah di mengenai la nebe negatif cik orang res, lah. Mengenai la nebe negatif cik orang res. Mengenai ni cek sabet juga ini. Tadi pun sabet juri mungkin cik orang. Tetapi dah nyamdo lepas ini jual rugi orang res. Jual rugi ni dah cik kahre res lah, na. Kalau mengenai ni cik cek sabet juga ini kasih orang. Music, music, ni dah dah kau kau dah jeve, jeve macam 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 ตาชนิดกับเรื่องแต่ชีวิตชีวิตกับเรื่องไม่ใช่ชนิดกับเรื่องแต่เราดูนะที่เกิดเดือดเยอะกี่เนี่ยชอบยองเบย์กับดัว
Jadi ini juga jadi sorang yang jenis lembab. Yang na hari yang kita tahu nombor lembab. Tapi ini semula lah. Kau tuan kari lagi dos. Ah, lah. Rikwa ya boleh. Sure. Uh, it it refers to receptivity. Exactly. It and refers also to somebody says in terms of uh, in terms of intellect, very smart. Uh, receptivity. Receptivity is right, and what it means on the on the physiological level is receptors. The brain have a lot of receptors in it that re that react that gets activated mm -hmm. with the sex hormones that are involved in the sexual maturation during puberty. Mm -hmm. And so there's sexual maturation, but there's also changes in the brain and how it receives information and how it processes information. Then, tanda adolescents <laughs> ladu loju usmu chipsi chongan e. ปัจจุบันเนี่ยชื่อนู้นสุดเลยที่เนี่ยก็สู้ลูกกี่เจ้าของลูกกี่ชอบเช่นเนี่ยที่เกิดเดือดจืดกี่เอ่อเขาสู
what happens in their visual area, it didn't receive visual input, mm -hmm. and so it's not active as a visual area. What happens? That could be maybe an area that's just not active at all. But what ended up being is a really interesting thing. It turns out that there is a remapping and this area is used for other skills that are stronger in those people. Uh, so for example, the visual cortex, you can see processes of auditory localization because they rely more on hearing or on so matter sensory tactile reading for braille mm -hmm. or uh, or verbal memory even those mix the tening ko zola mix the ta longwa isa ani ka so re tong zo le shin ro nam yun yun de mi kan ga la tong zo de de wa yu ge le shin ge cha se sa gu je ro de ka ji do stay yun de di nam yun ne shin tong ya de 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 wa de che che yo ma de ka ji ge yo se nam na long zo ani mi ge long tong ge me sa ani cha shi wu ji shu shi bu pe ji shi ge re ro ta pe ji che be to ne Tadikanayo very similar to deaf people. Now I want to give you an example about an injury. This cat belongs to a friend of mine who lives in Canada and is a neuroscientist. Friend of yours? Friend of mine. Oh. It's not my cat, but it belongs to a friend of mine who lives in Canada. And Brian lives on a farm and there are wild animals as well. Mm -hmm. And a wild animal attacked the cat and bit off one of the legs. So the cat now has three legs. Mm -hmm. And um, I met Brian and he was showing me those movies and the first thing I could think about was plasticity. So I wanted to mm -hmm. show them but the movies are not playing. So I'm going to reenact the movies for you. <laughs> Part of the 
But the movies work on my computer, so if you want, you can come afterwards when the class is done and you can look at the actual movies, you don't have to believe me. So what you see is the cat right after this happened. He has three legs and he's walking very carefully and trying to walk on the three legs. And this is four months later. And the cat is at the top of the stairs. And it very quickly runs down the stairs and you can't see that he's even missing a leg. Right? So there had to be some change in the brain to mm. allow the cat to learn how to walk on then three legs. If you had to guess, what are the brain areas that you would expect to be changing here? Some are saying motor cortex. Motor cortex. Specifically? Okay, he's saying autonomic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system? Why the autonomic nervous system? No. So he actually was thinking of uh, motor cortex. Motor cortex. Motor cortex. Yeah. Except he used uh, used the other term. Yeah. So motor cortex is right, and I would say several areas of the motor cortex. You would mm. think about premotor planning area. Ah, uh, sure. Sure. Coordination, balance. Oh, coordination, so if we were to map the brain of this ma of the cat, we could probably see very massive changes that occur to account for that so that he can now walk normally, go back again to walking normally, but the brain is a little different to allow that to happen. <laughs> You might have met somebody who suffered from a stroke. Strokes, Oh, 
Tip Gym for me the tone you yes. Mm. Yeah, they have. Yeah. So typically, um, if that happens, for instance, in the right motor cortex, what would be the effect on the person? Then the tip Gym for me comes out. The the tip Gym get change and the leba leba yebe chola get change. You know that co me the get level la get change. What you guys? The other side. Right. So mm. you will see loss of movement or control over movement mm. in the left side of the body. Mm. But over time, a lot of those people rehabilitate and they gain control over that side again. Mm -hmm. Now this part of the brain, it doesn't grow back. So they lost this part of the brain, but that means another part of the brain to control now over that. ยอนชอเจนยอนชอกุจอมาจามาตุบะตาดิเชกเรสเรเดเอ่อตินิยอนชอบดิเลบะคอนสุทเวยอมาเรสยอมาเรเดมิดิกิอันนี้จิกมุ
And over time, they start to see better and to recognize more details and to be able to tell things about the world. Mm-hmm. Kali 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 ani ti chongda ro thebe to ne tongba ji go mai ba tongba de de ne ta ta ti khoryu ta ti ta je yu ge ni ya chi ne su she ba ne thong thu ya ta nge tu ya go ri and we call this experienced based plasticity there's plasticity in the development of specific pathways that mm-hmm. depends on whatever is the experience that you have so when you see things in the world that will develop the corresponding pathways to see those mm-hmm. or to hear those or to understand experience based plasticity segres nyamnyung shile jebe nye shi segnop chi ro nyamnyung kebar de jebe nye shi segnop chi nye mi nilebe nye bu chae kebar de yore de ti ta khari 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 cha de ta dung nyam cha de ro chi ba ta nyam nye bu chae and interestingly, there are times where the brain is particularly sensitive to one type of stimuli, and that's when it develops. This is called critical period. Mm-hmm. Nature so the visual system is particularly interesting and was studied a lot in that sense because it's early on, it has a very steep peak and it goes down to zero. After this time, there is no more plasticity in the visual system. Plasticity in visual? In the visual system. In the visual system. the visual system. the visual system. In the visual system. In the visual it was actually shown in a very famous experiment that if you take cats and you deprive them from one type of visual stimuli for all this time, after this time, they will never be able to see it in their life. Oh. When they took, took a neuron. They, they grew them in an environment where they never saw vertical lines, for instance. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And then they would never, and, but for all this time, mm-hmm. after this time, they could see fine, except they could not see vertical lines. When the vertical lines, they look like thick. Carsore, Tomajuris. So there is a lot of new data that they can ask me about and we can discuss later mm-hmm. about what exactly are the molecular mechanisms that open and close this critical period window. 
Ani netang til tik kapsu. Ani kar shirim ki wangze chupcha tang chupcha chupcha tang wangze chupcha ke chane. Magi marim ki shirim ki ani du du rimbe netang ki thone. Ani kandes deshi jagure sin ti thone. Shir sapo sin te jagure sin. And the next thing that uh, develops is language skills. Mm -hmm. And there is a wider time for that, and it doesn't ever go down to zero. So basically, you're not ever not able to learn a new language. Mm -hmm. It's just that the capacity is less, and I'll show you data about that. The Dangi Di Wang Soru, Wang Soru, now learn the Tongzhou the Java Di, right? That Dangi Di Kia Da, Kia Kia Chang Di, Kia Chang Di, Ne Zhi Di, but now Zhi Chiu Chang Zhu Kia Zam Yi Ne, and Ne Kia Zam Yi Ne, Tu Kia Da. Kesan itu tu dengan kosong begina, ane kali di cawaya tan dia be lebih ni sih ni beti, ane kali 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 thoru chi thoru chi ni ni maja yue ni cipu tu dini baru kita tu, hanya angge enti ki kasih orang cek thoru tu le, tu ni mah tos mah kui umur es, ni deh kui betul mah to bet mah juni masih angge juni cawaya mekik ni tan lah, wah juni tak sah cawaya mekik ni tan lugu maris, misi kampu kosik ni mana sih hanya thoru betul yue maris, misi kampu ki cahana. Higher cognitive processes come on later in life, and they again in this model are decreasing, but they do not go back to zero. Then I see Torim Gi Nezin Chawas, Shepard and Devon, Shepard and Devon, and Chawarwa, Nezin Chawas, and this is a condo chamber in this out of Tendigi, Sangel Madube, Tor Nobu and Devon, Netanjura, Samuel Sigiva, he may be checked. Semua ni siapa? Nanti, di 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 mana di 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 mana saya lagi, naik bayi nere, di bayi nere, injung, nanti di rangsing di siapa jorwa? Tiada lagi ni betul lah. Tapi, kerja orang tu cenderung orang tu orang tu mungkin nanti siapa lagi tu? Tiada orang tu nasi cek. Gosu ke di bagi jugo ni nanti gosu. Ani di tumbu cek di cipu ni kerja tumbu cek. Ani jugo mah di nasi ni betul orang jah mah dia macam tu semua nyung nyung dulu ni tu. Tapi kei nasi cek ni. Ani zaman ni, tapi baru je ni. Zaman ni, ani mungkin cawal dan juga terbaik juga tak ya jadi rumah tu ya. Tapi cakap mana sih? Ia kan boleh. Now I want to ask you, as practitioners and people who study throughout their lives, if this makes sense to you, or would you say something different? Zaman zaman tu, tu kasih orang enam juta ni, tu nang jasa tu, ani milyu sungai tu, music tu, milyu sungai tu, tu tu semua dah lepas tu. Tak nak jadi cuci-cuci orang tak, yang ada susu orang, orang ni ini lagi utang ya, ni tak bawa tu sem dan tempe, cuma saya ke lekar es, milyu cuci cuci ni, tak bawa tu tempe cuci tempe milyu. Tapi orang tu sewa orang tu semua tu dah ini ya, milyu semua ni minda es, milyu tempe. Tapi ni ini macam ni, tapi ni ini macam ni, ada dua susu cuci tu tu, susu nyong tu dan jenye, ni si tak tak, ni kuku cuci tu, ni kuku min tu, mandi pun tu berikan dia dos. Nah. Tak ada betul siapa? Yeah, seems to, seems to concur. To concur, yeah. But there is also people that say this is very much dependent. Sure, sure. Didi, ini kian sunda, kian sunda. Kei si jangan terjadi orang. Masuk kei si jangan ni kasih si na, ni kalau cuma jangan jangan ini na yang jual si cuma si siang siapa si. Yang ini dengan dua, tu so ini yang di rumah ini nasi entah sah, dua macam sorot. With regard to with regard to language skill, he thinks that even when people pick up language at later in life, when they push through it, they can really gain full fluency. Yeah, I'll show you data about that in a minute, about exactly that. So we'll look at language in the visual system. But he meant to contradict with this, saying it doesn't. Yeah, so this is actually. Or, or you even would say like this. Oh, right. Wah, kian sungai aje. Nanti dia kimi telas. Wah, nanti kalau lama kian sampai suku kiri jang jang suku kiri jang jang tu, an suku pet ha jang kiri jang jang tu pun cakap dos. Mi telas cakap cakap ni, kau ni ni kalau kiri dan jere lebe ni ni si ni beti dos si an dos tebe sor si les. Yang mana masih orang baru ni yang si dos tebe sor cakap dos. So he's saying that. Yeah, I'll I'll show you data about that in one minute. Look at this, nanti. But I think what you're saying also relates to what I think about, for instance, for higher cognitive, which is if you there is a pick and plasticity that comes with it, but experience and practice will push this 
much higher and can change plasticity levels. And can I say the key to go my imba, Tormazu, Torim Ging and Zing Chavas Labimba, Torim Ging and Togichawa, Shetogichawa, Tila Yang at the Devil Tagi or is any pet me Uzu Jep, Uzu Jepsa or Sundu Cheni, any Janne Yangdu, Chonda Chevata, Ra, the less heavy enough, any castle, the Torim and Zing Chava, the Yagi Kande. So here's the data about language acquisition. This is looking at people that arrived in the US and the first age that they arrive is when they're exposed to the language. Here we're looking at fluency level. And so this is in relation to learning new language. Yeah, the, the, you, those are people who arrived in the US. This is the age that they were when they arrived. Mm. And this is how well they master English later on in adulthood, let's say. Ale. So how fluent they are in English after they lived in the States for many years and now they're adults. Right, and so if they, bec if they came before age seven, they look like native speakers. If they came after age seven, there's a drop, and the older they were, the less fluent they are in the language. Uh, okay. Uh, wh why is it that it, this is all saying 3737 three, all? Oh, that's not supposed to be. So this is 37, this oh. is 8 to 10, no, this no. is 1116, and this is 1739. Did you do the yeah, so maybe I... Yeah, it was copy-paste. Copy-paste. If you get you the noise at all. Did you see? Any copy-paste? Jaja is at all. Yeah, I wrote a key. Kiss and jaja is at all. The noise. Did some net you check? This is... 8 to 10. Gene, you check. 11 to 16. Chup chine, you do check. 17 to 39. จุดดีเนี่ยสมมุติโซกุดิสเจอเจอเลยนะเจนี่ดิเอ่อว่าดิคาเรสนาร่างร่างอะไรเลเลเวกับกี้อะไรเลเลเวกับร่างร่างเก
And so we might have all the vocabulary that says you can push through it, you can learn all the words, but you're not going to sound exactly the same because your auditory cortex is not processing it the same. ネジンジクロロナカネジンジクラトメントシュデゼモレブチェテネマカリカリマクイドヤソウニャムドヤジオレステネインザンあ定義ネタンギトネンデシジャギオレスケハジャンチャンネロケハジャンチャンネケハ
So there's very obvious criticism that we can say about this, about this hypothesis. Maybe there is some other explanation to why he's seeing this. What was that? So there is another explanation that I can come with, and I I'm see. sure they can come with, mm. to say why those people have larger hippocampus rather than that it grows, it's plastic and it grows because they're learning navigation things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe people who have a larger hippocampus are much better at navigation, therefore they choose to become a taxi driver. Mm. So how would you test that? That di maris. What would you test what? How would you test if this is somebody who has a larger hippocampus would become a taxi driver or somebody who's a taxi driver uses their hippocampus and therefore it grows? ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
So from that they could make the conclusion that it's not just about uh, maybe just the driving, the motion, the, but it's specific to memorizing the map. But you write that the best way is if you had a group and you can follow it over time. So mm -hmm. in the next experiment, it was hard to do with a taxi driver, but in the next experiment it was done in this way, where you when you're actually looking at a person before they learned a skill, <coughs> when they are learning a skill, and when they're forgetting the skill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does anybody know how to juggle? Uh, Juggle <laughs> So after class, you can come see the cat video and you can come play with the juggling balls. Oh, And you'll see that your friends made it look pretty easy, but it's actually pretty hard. So in this study, they took novice, they took people who'd never juggled before. 
they image their brains and then they ask them to practice for three months every day. And they had to practice for three months every day until they got to the point that they could juggle for one minute without dropping the balls. At the end of the three months, they scanned their brain again with MRI. And they there were 12 controls and 12 people who learned how to juggle. And then everybody was asked to not practice at all for three months mm. and their brains were imaged again. Now, what would be your intuitive guess about what brain area might change? They say motors, motor cortex and hippocampus. Someone is saying visual cortex is related. Yeah. Why visual cortex? Oh, because the eye is involved in it. Right, absolutely right. So their uh, hypothesis is very similar to your initial hypothesis or to my initial hypothesis, which is it's the movement. It's going to be the motor cortex and the, the either the movement of the hands or the hand-eye coordination of the movement. But the area that actually but the area that actually changed was an area of the visual cortex, as you predicted, and it's an area of the visual cortex that is involved in detecting movement. Mm. Uh, which is involved in detecting movement. Yeah. <laughs> So it is this area, MT in visual cortex number five, that helps you to detect movement and to predict where the ball is going to be. <laughs> 
Tongue and so what happened is that they could see an increase in the size of this area after three months. And after three months of not doing it, they lost the effect. It goes back to normal. So if we go down now to the level of cells and we ask ourselves what's the mechanisms that allow for that plasticity? What allows this functional plasticity that mm -hmm. the system works differently and what allows the anatomical morphological plasticity that we see for instance a bigger area? Functional plasticities there are several mechanisms that are responsible for this. One is at the level of synapse, of the connections between two nerve cells, the strength of the connection is changed. So two cells could be more strongly connected or less strongly connected, and that would change the property of firing. <laughs> Uh the second thing that happens is the actual morphology of the cell can change. So a cell that has its cell body and the dendrite, we call this the dendritic tree. The dendritic tree, as you see from this case to this case, shrunk a lot, or sometimes it grows a lot. <laughs> When that happened, that changes the number of synapses on here and it changes the, again the connections between cells. So it can happen at the level of the synapse, it can happen at the level of the dendrites. It can also happen that a whole cell 
appears. It's born. Jadi tadi ko cawe ribal la, ni yua kali dulu ya sebab dia cawe ribal la, ni wang wang ter terus penjuru gigi kasur eh tuju, wang ter penjuru penjuru gigi tuju gigi setup setung keba. Jadi korang kau mau korang la, korang sih kasur eh cajer lu keba keba doya. Jadi cepung sama, lah cepung sama. Cepung korang ke canggah sama je ni, cepung korang sama je betul ni. Ani cepung ke canggah mana sih sih betul ni. Ani kasur ya ke jual tepi oris. So you may remember from biology that cells in our body are constantly renewing. They're proliferating. They're dying. You get new ones. Our skin, we get new cells all the time. In the gut, we get new cells all the time. In the brain, this is different. In the brain, this is different. Different. Nah tu, kena sering nak lola. Jundai ni lebih ke ni je pungju, pakai pungju ini ada di kanga. Ani kadu ini mutu je, ani kasur ini jasa tepi oris. Ying bah sihir sihir sama yang gue yang gue cenderung sihir atau renew sihir atau sebab tu jasa tepi atau sebab tu apa? Di lebar tu lebar lah di ni tu cuma dia maris. So in the brain we have the cells when we're born, and those are the cells that we're going to have until we die, pretty much. The cells in the brain don't divide and don't make new ones. Don't renew. Don't renew. Jadi lebar ke lebar ke cuma macam macam lah. Lebih cabang ini dan berkahar es. Lebih cabang dengan mana cene? Lebih cabang di, ane pergi yang aduh cewek kau beli lebih cabang kau jadi beti tangan orang aduh mizik macam apa tu pergi tengi es. Ko kau kau suruh di mizik baru lah, ane kau suruh terus cajur wa. Ying buat cajur, sihir sihir sama yang gue ingat cajur wa. Oh di cik maris. But in two areas of the brain, and one of them is the hippocampus. We have a small population of cells that can be born, mm -hmm. and they're born in response to experience and generate new neurons that are important for memory. Mm -hmm. And those cells play a big role in plasticity because you can imagine if you're adding a whole new cell to a system, that's a big change. Then the circulation of the cell, 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 the and this process is very much regulated by two things. There's one thing that really pushes it up. You get a lot more new cells, and so better memory. And some one thing that pushes it down, and you get less cells and less better ability for memory. Jadi di kelihatan cerita itu, anda ini sahaja yang mungkin yang saya dengar, hajar yang sahaja mampu je juga yang mungkin yang lain. Ani cerim cik ini, ani cerim sahaja yang mungkin yang saya dengar, hajar yang suka cembur je macam ni, bawa kasut tu tu ke jauh jauh yang ke mana, nyungsi tanya yang ini cerim cik yang lain. What pushes it down, and you get less neurogenesis. This process is called adult neurogenesis. So neurogenesis is Neurons being born in the adult brain. Tanda di ini, tanda di cerim di lah. Tanda ni kalau tu mi kembar ki dalmen ni kalau ni tanda sikit ya, dalmen ni kalau ni tanda kita nalo ni awang tu terus sama je aja lah. Di lah adult neurogenesis sikit orang. Jadi ni neurogenesis ni tu, ane awang tu cak cuci lagi orang. Kalau ni nalo juga nala. Di ni awang tu sama je aja ni tanda ni. Tadi mi tanda nalo juga nala adult neurogenesis lagi orang. Exposure to chronic or severe stress pushes it down, and you get less neurons that are being born in the hippocampus. So, in the last year, we have seen the hippocampus now. We have seen the neurons that are now being born in the hippocampus. So, we have seen the neurons that are now being born in the hippocampus. So, we have seen the neurons that are now being born in the hippocampus. So, we have seen the neurons that are now being born. Kasang aku stress juga, nyonya, nyonya kasang sabit cembur, untuk dia cembur ini, ane pergi pergi hip cembur ke pergi sajian nalo lah, soda main sajian nalo lagi, ane tabung sawat je sesuatu cuci nalo lah, nyonya sudah sudah terbetul ni, 
And the function of the hippocampus is very well related to the level. And so when this level is down, we see less better less function of the hippocampus, worse function of the hippocampus. Can you guess what is the factor that pushes it the most up? Through special learning, through special training. Special training can increase that a little bit mm -hmm. and especially increases how long those cells survive. Mm -hmm. But there is something that pushes it more. Then there are numbers of Tonga Jenny, Chenna, Chonda, Chia, Diggy, Chenna, Chonda, Chia, Diggy, any sour chair, the Pendo Yabata, Chenna, Chonda, Jeva, the Den, a Jeva, sour Jeva, the Zoo, and you in Bune, Kibayoris. In that number of the Kitchen Chia, did. Happy mood. Happy mood. So this is actually very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Mm. It, it is interesting because it turns out that those cells are very, very important for regulation of the HPA axis that we talked about yesterday, mm -hmm. and they're very much involved in depression. Mm -hmm. uh, those new cells. Those new cells. Oh, okay. I'll show you how. And uh, what did you say about depression? So those cells are involved in depression. Mm -hmm. you, they, I think they heard last year about depression and mm -hmm. you talked about antidepressives? No. So there, there are uh, treatments, pills that people take for depression, and those pills work through the effect on those cells. If you take away those cells, the pills don't work as an antidepressant. <laughs> Um, Bukikadugi but what was found to push up those cells the most is physical exercise. Mm. And it was shown through animal models for the mechanism and through human studies 
that physical exercise, even something like 45 minutes of walking three times a week, would increase neurogenesis, would increase brain function, and would decrease depression. So we all know about how physical exercise is very, very important for your cardiovascular system and for metabolism, but we now know a lot more about the mechanisms in which physical exercise is very important for brain function as well. Okay. So what happens when we're exposing the brain to chronic or severe stress is pretty much the opposite of what we're seeing with physical exercise. So the plasticity on the cellular level in the hippocampus, we see cells that shrink like that. Cells that were like this will become much smaller in the hippocampus. And we see less synaptic connections, less strong synaptic connections. There is decrease in the hippocampus in neurogenesis. And exposure to chronic stress decreases uh, learning and memory function. On the other hand, if we were to look in the amygdala, in the area of the brain that's responsible for fear signaling, we actually see the opposite. The cells are bigger and they're firing stronger, so the brain becomes more fearful and less able to deal with memory processing. Oh, Jenny. We are uh, almost running out of time, but there was one more thing that I wanted to talk, uh, to very briefly mention, because I think the monks might be interested in that, mm -hmm. and so maybe we can discuss it later. Mm -hmm. But uh, an idea that is very foreign to Western neuroscience and takes a lot to accept, but they might be um, able to think about it differently, is that there are biological epigenetic markers of stress that are <coughs> transmitted between generations, between uh, you don't, so if your grandfather had stress, mm. you will have a different brain, if you will, or a different epigenetic landscape of your DNA. 
这里人的王子先生拿了那几滴好像沙瓦吉的或者好不敢带呢就没有通过有的没有人去看过去你一毛钱没有的那就差个有的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人的人